it's been a long time since I've done a live podcast. Rising, rising from Copanyan, what did you do? Yes. I'm gonna go over there. Who's over there? Amanita. It's relaxing. Eric's on that side. I'll show you guys. That's Eric's house. Yes, I just wanted to jump on and make a quick video. And um, just my thoughts on smoking. Smoking is a big thing in our community. We moved from cigarette smoking to tobacco smoking and weed smoking. And my understanding, and I want to share my experiences too, and observations with people with smoke. Like, obviously, cigarettes is no good for people smoking normal cigarettes. But the reason people smoke cigarettes is because it's just because of one thing inside the cigarettes it's the nicotine which yes on the flip side is addictive and warning however nicotine is actually a very powerful substance found in tobacco and what nicotine does is it stimulates and wakes the brain up not necessarily in an unhealthy way look at um happy happy up the nose that really does it but same with normal cigarettes that's why people get addicted to it uh, Sometimes life can be very stressful, so we go and smoke cigarettes, yeah? We chill out, we take a cigarette break, and nicotine actually wakes the brain up. It does a lot of things, it moves constipation, wakes the brain up, stimulates, relaxes the brain hemispheres. That's why a lot of people do, um, that's why a lot of people do smoking cigarettes. But I want to talk about the communities, because in our communities we move to tobacco and weed. And both those substances are sacred, but if we're being real, everyone here has been overusing, um, cigarettes and sorry uh, tobacco smoking and weed or spliffs or both or one or the other it's not that the medicine's bad there's different forms of taking these things um and i just want to tune in to my observations now that i'm smoking a little bit um, tobacco weed and just my community just this is my shares of my experiences and knowledges so not even mine so if we go back to ancient Chinese medicine, TCM is it? So each organ of the body is connected to a different um, emotion. So I try and remember them now, it's going to challenge me. But the main one I know, so the heart is correct to joy. Um, what is it? I can't remember. But the one that I do need to remember, you need to remember, is lungs. Lungs is affected by smoking in a negative fashion. It doesn't matter what you smoke, lungs is affected by it. So lungs is connected to grief. So when you smoke too much, cigarettes, tobacco only, weed, what you're actually doing is you're damaging your lungs and it's affecting the emotion of grief. It's basically making you more sad and unhappy, paradoxically. We don't smoke weed and tobacco to be unhappy, but if we continue to smoke too much every day, like one a day is too much, dudes. Fuck, one a day is too much. Check into that. So, my observations when I do it too much is I go into a little grief, I could get sad, even with the stimulating tobacco and the relaxing weed. And I see it in my friends too, that smoke it too much. I'm not judging anyone, I'm not trying to freak anyone out, and I'm actually going to offer a solution that where you can carry on smoking um, quite a lot, but you've got to mitigate the damage to your lungs. So, um, yeah, it just makes you sad. Course, we gotta do something. So, either you start cutting it down and use it medicine properly when you smoke, or the weed, you go for the edibles, go for the edibles, the cookies, the hash brownies, and all these stuff. Or, one really good way to do it is to collect some urine. Obviously, I'm big into aged urine, maybe not obviously, it depends how long you've known me. So, you, you get the urine, you collect it, wait a week or two or three, and then aged urine is holy medicine for everything. It'd be great to drink, but specifically for if you're smoking too much. Rub that aged urine over the well, the nose, the throat, and especially the lungs and the rib cage. That will change the grief and the bad emotions and the toxins that are being stored up in the lungs through smoking. It release the alveoli, they won't get so sticky and smudgy. And it will just open up the airways. You'll be able to breathe so much better. It's, it covers the damage big time. You rub even a little bit. It, after you smoke, get in a habit of just rubbing a urine over your lungs. Fresh urine too. Fresh urine would help, especially a urine. If you do this every day that you smoke, I guarantee your lungs will be fucking A-OK. -okay. And I guarantee that the sadness and the grief and the... Well, 
what comes with grief? Negativity, fucking... Just a lot of bad things come with it. And you don't want that. So go and start doing protocols. Either you cut down the smoking or the medicine, or start rubbing yourself with holy medicine that unblocks the channels and doesn't allow these negative emotions to build up. Um, kidneys, so remember now, kidneys have fear. So if the kidney, kidneys aren't cleansed and blocked up, you'll have lots of fear. The heart is joy, sadness, grief for the lungs. Yeah, we just gotta take care of ourselves, yeah? If we do things that aren't so good, they're simple solutions. I guess it's not so simple if you don't believe in urine therapy, but get some high quality water and rub it on there. High quality, not tap. Real high quality, guys. Fruit water, that works too. Water from fruits. Not as powerful as aged. Anyway, love you guys. That's just the tip of the day. Um, I say these things so that karmically, as I see myself and other people get take over grief because I'm smoking too much, I can say I've done all myself for myself and I've done all that I can for the right people to hear just to get that grief out. Grief is not a good emotion. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's wake up. All right, peace.